G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, years ago, I put up a web page, which is very popular, um, showing how you can cut your own gears, spur gears, change gears, um, without any fancy equipment at all. Uh, all you need is a vertical mill slide, basically, and make up a fly cutter, and away you go. Um, on this lathe, I made this gear, this gear, this gear, and this gear. Uh, they're all replacements for, for gears that were smashed, damaged over the years. <laughs> We've been in a hurry and things have gone wrong. Um, and they're perfect gears. And uh, no dividing head used, no rotary table used. And if you want to find out how to do this, look at my webpage. I'll put the address in the video description. But the critical factor, one of the critical factors is that when you cut the teeth, you have to have some form of indexing. You have to index each of the tooth spaces that you're cutting um, correctly. Otherwise, the gear will be no good. And uh, as you can see, these are all perfectly indexed and the gears are great. Now, uh, I'll show you what I use to do this and then I'll explain where I'm heading. To index the, uh, the gear, I came up with the idea of using a uh, computer generated pie chart from an Excel spreadsheet or any spreadsheet. And basically it's just a number of teeth uh, um, for the gear divided into 360 degrees and you put that value in a column of cells the same number as the teeth and you print out the pie chart you then just use a, um, a pointer and you it to align with the indexing disc out near the the edge so you get minimum error and uh, you use that to index the gear blank and, and cut teeth spaces Works perfectly accurately, provided you align that correctly. Obviously, um, the tip of the pointer has to be the same width as the t as the line, and uh, I generally used a, mi a uh, magnifying glass to make sure it was all aligned correctly. But it's a bit tricky. But you get there. And then a colleague in the UK got onto me, and he put up a Java script on the internet where you can go to his web page and I'll put the address in the video description and you can just punch in the numbers of the teeth you want and print the pie chart or the reference disk, indexing disk off straight off the internet it takes you a minute maximum and away you go did a great job uh, you can also vary the thickness of the of the, uh, the segments the, uh, the lines and uh, just makes it easier to uh, to uh, align with a pointer. In this case, this is a disc for 107 teeth. Now, anybody that's got a dividing head will know that 107 teeth, <laughs> not many dividing heads have discs that, that will do 107 teeth. It's one of those odd numbers, but doing it with a pie chart, no problem, easy. And, as I said, and this will be just as accurate as anything you do with a dividing head if you uh, are careful and uh, do it correctly. Now the pointer um, works as I said but there is a better way to do this and uh, I have to think about it. Uh, having had that uh, recent purchase of the little USB microscope I thought well why not use a USB microscope to index off of the disc and using a microscope you don't even need a pointer I mean you can actually do the indexing on the computer screen so that's what we're going to do we're going to uh, set it up I'll show you the current setup and then I'll show you the setup with the USB microscope and then we'll uh, yeah we'll try it out this is the setup I use to cut gears on my lathe and anybody could do this all it is a vertical mill slide an angle bracket a couple of clamps to uh, locate a shaft and lock it and a reference disc up the top here's the gear blank uh, here's where a gear blank would 
go or put, put a finished gear in there just to show that's where it would be at. You use a fly cutter or a involute gear cutter in the, in the lathe spindle, lock everything up, cut a tooth uh, by lowering the gear blank through the cutter and rise, raise it back up to the indexing point and then loosen off a clamp, turn your indexing disc to the next position, lock the clamp, cut the next space, lift it back up, loosen it, turn it again, lock it, lower it, and uh, eventually you cut all your teeth. Very, very simple setup. Works fantastically well. But of course, you must get that indexing pointer correctly aligned with the, with the lines on the disc. And uh, you can do it by eye, and I use a microscope just to get it right. But I thought, why not use um, the USB microscope, give that a go, and see how it goes, and do all the alignment on the computer, on the computer screen. So that's what we're going to do. So I'll show what I made up and, uh, and how it's all going to work. Here's the new setup. And what I've, all I've done is replace the, um, the metal pointer with a, a new arm I made up and a mount on the end to take the uh, USB microscope. What I've got to do now is plug it in the computer and we'll just pick up uh, via the microscope the segments off of the disc and we'll display them on the computer screen. Then all we have to do is put a couple of indexing reference points on the computer screen um, to align the, uh, the segment on the pie chart and we're good to go. Well, I tried to do this with a screen capture program. This one here, but I couldn't get it to work. So we do this the old fashioned way and I'll just video the screen. You'll get the idea. So we open up our program. Use whichever one you want. This is the one that came with the unit. Works okay. And we can see the USB microscope image coming, um, showing the one of the reference points on the reference disk. Let's see if we can focus that a little bit better. That's pretty good. And now all we need to do is have some way of indexing it on the screen. And to do that, we're going to use a thing called sticky notes make a sticky note and then we'll make another note there we go bring that across one there one there and Square the camera up, square the cam USB up slightly, and just drag that around. Okay, so that's our reference point. That's as fine as you're ever going to get it. So we would cut a, a tooth in that position, and then after we've cut the tooth, we loosen off our blank to turn it, so we can turn the reference disc. And we just turn the reference disk around to the next position, which is there. Cut that. Cut that tooth space. Loosen the clamp. Turn the the disk and the blank around to the next position. Cut that tooth space, and so on and so forth. And as you can see, you can index the. The two spacings absolutely 100% perfect using this uh, this method. The little USB microscope does a fantastic job. Now you'd have to be blind <laughs> not to be able to do this, and uh, certainly makes it very very easy. So there you go, folks. This is my latest idea. I think it's a winner. Um, Certainly, you know, there's no reason you can't make super accurate gears uh, using this indexing method. And uh, all you need is a 
USB microscope of some sort. Uh, either like mine or even the cheapy ones would probably work just as well. All you need to do is make up some sort of amount for it and uh, you're good to go. Okay, well that's it from me. I hope you enjoy the video and uh, yeah, it's definitely worth a beer this one. Alright, I'll see you next time. Cheers.